That guy's Alec Pierce at the ranch again. I'm still splitting wood. Yeah, it's still spring. We call it spring. It's March. It's 37 degrees today. It's been anywhere from 35 to 45, and it's been fantastic. The ground is still frozen. The snow is almost all gone. Can you find a bit of snow, Kevin, to show folks that don't know what snow is? Well, okay. Listen, we put a snow fence up this year. You can see it out there to try to keep the drifts on our long laneway. Our laneway is 700 feet. So we put some snow fence up, and of course, there's snow right there. But anyway, it's a beautiful day. Not too hot. <laughs> well, Diane and I just came back. We were south. We just came back from Cuba. It was stinking hot down there. I couldn't wait to get back to the cold. All yeah, right. Anyway, I wanted to show you this because as I explained, and if you saw my earlier uh, video on log splitting, uh, what do we call it? Uh, log splitting, safe and easy, <laughs> quick and easy, something. Uh, I, I, I explained that we bring eight foot logs back from the woods. So we go out with the tractor, chainsaw, and, and we cut down trees, cut them into eight foot lengths and haul them back. Now with the, my tractor, which is a, 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 a mid-size, it's called mid-size, it's not a compact, not a lawn tractor, but it's not a full size, it's a mid-size tractor, 40 horse, uh, it's pretty good. But you get an eight foot maple log, maybe 10 or 12 inches in diameter, I can, call, I can haul two, maybe three of them. And that's about it. And even that doesn't work sometimes because the front edge of the log sometimes catches even with the three point. Anyway, it's a bit of a nuisance. So I came up with this idea to make it easier. This essentially is a, a car hauler. No, uh, what do they call it? Car tow. It's the same thing. Anyway, I had this idea and I think it's going to work. I'm not completely finished yet, but if I can get Kevin to take a look here, what I did, I went to my brother's farm. He lives a, a little distance from here and I rooted around in, in his junk pile, which is about five acres. <laughs> and I found an old trailer that he didn't want anymore. Just a small trailer, a little utility trailer. Flipped it over, and sure enough, the axle, the wheels, and, and the, the spindles were all in good shape. So I took that off. Half a dozen bolts, I had it. And this is it. Wheel, wheel, spindles, axle. Now the axle on the trailer was quite a bit wider than this, almost three feet wider. I didn't want that much because I wanted these two, these two wheels, these two tires, to fit into the tractor tire tread. So I go out into the bush, it could be muddy or snow, and I, with the tractor I can make a track. I gotta be able to haul this back through the same track. So I cut this down quite a bit. Number one. Second thing I did, the, uh, the axle on this is a square tube. It's, uh, it looks like inch, inch and a quarter square tubing. It's okay for your utility tractor because the weight in the utility tractor sits on these two pads, sits on the outside, close to the spindles. There's no weight in the middle, so it's not going to bend. But if I put a large log in the middle of this, it might bend. So after I cut it in half to shorten it, I then got a solid steel, inch and a quarter steel rod. And I drove that all the way through both ways so it's jammed in there. So now this axle on this one now is a solid steel rod from there to there. And you see there's a little pad on each end. That's where the original leaf springs from the utility trailer set. So now I have a very solid arrangement. Now what I'm going to do, I think this will work. Maybe you guys have an idea that you can send me. I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put that. I've cut this so it'll fit perfectly onto those two square pads. I'm going to weld that right on like that. So now I have even more strength. So now I can probably put two, three, and maybe a couple on top. Two or three or maybe four good, large, long, eight foot long logs on here and simply chain them. I'll put a hook here and I'll just chain them so that they're chained solidly to this and they can't slip off. Simple. And then I have to hook it to the back of the tractor and I thought of several ways of doing that. I could put a pintle hook on it or a variety of ways but I happen to have some some uh, two inch uh, steel tubing so I'm going to put a two inch piece of steel tubing right there with a brace so it becomes a, 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 a diamond brace and then I, I picked up at, um, at Home Depot or Harbor Freight same thing on sale for $15. Usually cost more than that. A brand spanker new two inch which will fit right on there and then I'll just put this on the ball on the back of the tractor out into the woods cut my eight foot logs lift them onto this chain them and haul them back that's the theory anyway and I think it'll work I've greased up the hubs everything's working really well and I think this will work really well for hauling in those eight foot logs safely and easily I'll let you know how it works sometime when we're talking about wood splitting in the future if you have any ideas to help me I think this is working out pretty well let me know Okay guys, but maybe there's something that you can do just out of scrap pieces and some steel to make your log splitting a little bit easier for you. Talk to you soon. Alec Pierce at the ranch. I got to go and get the old uh, uh, welder fired up. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.